I'd like to conclude our day by thanking all of this afternoon's speakers. They did a great job, thank you. And by thanking the people who sponsored this event, the California Institute of Regenerative Medicine, Lisa's Place, the Parkinson's Institute and Clinical Center, the Orange County Chapter of the Huntington's Disease Society of America, the Department of Neurosurgery at Cedar sinai the Alzheimer's Association, and the California Parkinson's Group, and the Sue and Bill Gross Stump Cell Research Center. So thank you all so much for your support. This event wouldn't have been possible without your uh, help and support. Thank you. It would be remiss of me, too, not to thank uh, Chris and Lorraine Steele and the folks at CERM who put this whole event together with the staff here at the center. Uh, Chris and Lorraine, thanks for all your efforts on behalf of the pension advocates. I think in an ending, uh, EJ encouraged you to talk to each other. This is a big community of people who have interests in a lot of different diseases. And often the road to finding a cure is a long one. But in this particular field, we can celebrate the victories, for example, in spinal cord, because they will tell us something about how to treat the other diseases. So for the particular disease you might be interested in, there might not be success around the corner, but this field is moving very rapidly. And I think we can all work together to celebrate those victories. I'd encourage you to hang around afterwards to talk to each other, learn more about the work that you're doing in your particular field, and really support each other in uh, this uh, cause, really, to develop stem cells and stem cell research to treat uh, a wide variety of human diseases. You learned along the way that one of the things you can do to um, alleviate disease is live a good life. So I'd encourage you to take any food that's left over home with you. <laughs> Please do so. Um, sign up at the CERM website uh, for more information. You can sign up at our website too, at the Sue and Bill Gross Stem Cell Research Center. I think that the CERM folks have handed out information uh, that gives you a way to contact them, get more information about what they're doing and stem cell research in general, and I'd encourage you to do that. And as a number of people have said, learn about what this work um, entails. It won't be the entire answer. It won't solve everything, but it certainly will be one of the answers, and I'd encourage you to learn about it, go out into your communities and talk about it, and uh, we need your support. I've often found that when lay people come to the Stem Cell Research Center, they're often inspired by the scientists. But I want to tell you that the scientists are really inspired by your courage in the face of enormous adversity. And as um, one of the speakers this afternoon said, that's one of the reasons why we come to work every day. So thank you ever so much for a great day. And uh, hang around, talk to each other, take the food, and uh, thank you all for coming.